Hi, today we'll be going over the basics of what you need to know to start printing on your Maker Gear M2 3D printer. First, we'll have to find a 3D model to print. There are plenty of places online to find free 3D models available to print, such as Thingiverse. Here we found a SpongeBob pencil holder that we'll print today. First, you're going to download all your files. Once you've downloaded them, you'll navigate to your downloads folder and unzip the file that you've downloaded. Here, you'll be able to find your 3D model file and ensure that it is the correct model. Next, we're going to move on to slicing your model. Slicing software translates your 3D models into instructions that the 3D printer can follow. Here, the 3D model will be transformed into individual layers for the 3D printer to process and print. Today, we're going to use the free software, Slicer. Open up Slicer and select the Add button. From here, you can navigate to your file and click Open. You may find that your 3D object is on its side or in a different position, which may cause the model to imprint improperly. To change this, we're going to select our model and right click, go to Rotate to change it to its desired position of being upright. After this, we'll adjust our print settings, where we can fine tune our sliced file to print with the best results for our 3D printer. Layer height will adjust the thickness of the individual layers of your 3D print. A smaller layer height will take longer to print but will produce finer results. Perimeters will adjust the thickness of the outside shell of your model. Solid layers will adjust the amount of layers that will be filled in completely on the top and the bottom of your model. We'll leave the default of 3 for all of these. Next is infill. Infill is the printing pattern that is filled inside of your 3D print and comes in different patterns. We'll use the rectilinear pattern for our print today, and we'll also use 20% fill density. Fill density is the ratio of material to air in the shell of the model. 100% fill density will leave it completely solid, and 0% will leave it completely hollow. Typically, 5-20% to will be fine for your print. Next, we'll move on to support material. Support material may or may not be required for your print. If your print has parts that extend outwards and have nothing below them, you'll probably need supports. Supports act as scaffolding for your print and provide a base for these overhangs to print off of. These will have to be removed afterwards using a pair of tweezers or pliers. We'll stick with the default settings for these supports. Next, we'll move on to the speed settings of our print. We'll stick with 60 millimeters per second for our perimeters, 80 millimeters per second for our infill, and 250 millimeters per second for our travel. You may adjust these to your liking as different prints may require different print speed settings. Next, we'll move on to our filament settings. The filament diameter is typically located on a label outside of your plastic spool for your 3D printer. In this case, we have a 1.75mm diameter for our plastic. We'll leave the extrusion multiplier alone. Our temperature settings we'll also leave alone since we can change these on our M2 Quick Start software. Next, we'll move on to our printer settings. From here, we're going to change our G-code flavor to wrap wrap and change our nozzle diameter to 0.35mm as this is the standard nozzle diameter that comes with all Maker Gear M2 models. From here, we can go back to the Plater tab and select the Preview tab in order to get an idea of what our print will come out like. Here, we can see the support structures that are on our model, and we can use the side tab to see each individual layer of our model. From here, we can zoom in and see the inside of the supports, as well as the rectilinear infill pattern that we have chosen. Now that we're done with all of our settings, we're going to export our G-code and make sure to export it to your SD card that you're going to use with your 3D printer. This process may take a bit, and once we're done, we'll move on to our Maker Gear Quick Start software. Once you've started up your Quick Start software, make sure your computer is connected to your 3D printer using the provided cable, and make sure that your 3D printer is turned on. From here, we'll navigate to the yellow circle in the bottom left-hand corner, and we'll select our printer, and click Connect. Next, we're going to navigate to the Advanced tab. Here, we'll adjust the temperature that our 3D printer will use using the drop-down menus under Temperature Control. Once you've selected your temperature, select Set, and it will start heating up. We'll start out using the middle 70 degrees Celsius for the platform and 220 degrees Celsius for the extruder. Once your printer has heated up to the desired temperatures, we'll focus on changing the filament spools. If you already have a filament spool loaded into your 3D printer, we'll select Retract, and we'll gently tug on the back of the filament until it has exited the extruder. You may have to select Retract multiple times in order for it to completely come out of the extruder. Once our filament has completely retracted out of the extruder, we'll bundle it up and store it elsewhere. Next, we'll add our new filament spool. Ensure that the filament is feeding from the back of the spool and insert it into the filament tube. Gently unwind the filament from the filament spool and push it into the extruder. From here, we'll click extrude until the filament has completely loaded into the extruder and has started coming out of the nozzle. Take your tweezers and pull out the dripping filament. Next, we'll insert our SD card that we exported our G-code file onto into the printer. From here, we'll go to the Print tab, 
and select the G code file that you created. We'll select yes for the filament and click prepare print. Take a second to remove any extra filament on the extruding nozzle with your tweezers, then select print now. Your 3D model will begin printing. If you have any issues with your 3D print, you'll be able to find a lot of guides online that will help you troubleshoot your problems, such as this one on Simplify3D.com. Here, you'll be able to click on the images of your issues and find guides that will help you resolve them. Our last step in our 3D print is to remove all of the support structures that were generated for our model. We're using tweezers and a pair of pliers to remove all of the extra plastic on our print. Here's our finished 3D print of Scooter's house. Since it's not perfect, we'll probably have to take some sandpaper and sand down some rough edges on it, but for now, it seems pretty good. That concludes the tutorial on the basics of 3D printer with our MakerGear M2 3D printers. Thanks for watching.